Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to walk through how to build the outline for your home page. So I have that file open that we called index, which is our home page, and we want to create an outline. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to insert shape. It's going to throw a shape out there, and we just want to create a simple white shape for our outline. So I'm going to double click on it and go to the shape properties and under type you can set you know all the different types of shapes in here that you can think of or in here uh, I'm just gonna go with just a simple uh, square and for fill effects I'm gonna make it solid white you could put a bevel on it too if you wanted to just to give it a little depth under border I'm gonna set that to zero and if you wanted to put a shadow on there you could do that here under uh, text tab we're not going to worry about this because we're going to overlay our own text and uh, link if you wanted to make that shape linkable you could do that too but in this case we're just going to create a simple shape so we're going to hit OK now we're going to drag this out and just kind of eyeball it to 800 and then drag it down a little bit so now we have a simple shape out there for our outline now what we want to do is create another shape to go inside of this shape. So we're going to go insert shape. And it's going to throw another little shape out there. You double click on that. And we're going to make this one a gray color. So leave that square solid. Make this like a light gray color. Hit OK. And we're going to put a border of one on it and make it a little darker gray and hit OK so we can drag this around however we want like that and I want to also um, create that same shape to the right over here so if I right right click copy right click paste and then just drag this over here like that just to give it a little outline there give it a cool design so now we want to insert a navigation bar for the different pages on our site so we'll have one for home one for videos one for blog one for about us one for contact us so we'll go insert navigation navigation bar and it's going to throw it out there if you double click on it click on the first one here we'll edit this one we'll call this one home and this is where you're going to add your links later on we'll do that right now we just want to create the outline for our site so hit OK click on that one edit this would be videos OK edit this one this one will be blog this one will be about us and we'll add one more and call it contact us OK and then under layout we want to click horizontal and we want to click this little box that says resize buttons horizontally now under the styles tab this is where you're going to change the style of the navigation bar so for the font I'm going to make that Times New Roman I'm going to change it to bold I'm going to make it 12 point and down here under the preview area you can preview how it's going to show up so for the color I'm gonna leave that black but for the hover cover I'm sorry color I'm gonna make that a gray so when you hover over it it turns gray and that notifies that it's a link alright under image this is where you set the style I'm gonna come down I'm just gonna choose this one for now and under normal this is how it shows up normally hover is how it shows up when someone hovers over it. I like to keep them the same uh, but you can play around with that however you want. So we'll click that. If you wanted to upload like a little sound bite when someone hovers over it you could upload it here. So we're gonna hit OK. Now we got our navigation bar. So you can drag that around however you want. We're gonna grab that we're gonna drag it out here like that and there we go we got a navigation bar now if you left click and create a window and highlight everything 
you can move it all together. You can also right click and go group and it'll group those items together so things don't really get moved around too much. Alright so now we want to insert our logo. So we're gonna go insert image and under our site folder there's another folder called images and that's where I have this image and that's where all your images need to be stored is under an images folder under your main site folder so we have our website name here and then we have a images folder under that that's where I have this image stored so just click on it it drops it out there and there we go we got a logo and if you double click on that you can um, you know change the properties you could put a border on it you know and make it linkable and stuff so for right now we're just gonna go okay so now what we want to do is we want to upload a video from YouTube so the first way and the easiest way is to click on this little YouTube button here and it's gonna throw a YouTube video out there and you can you know put that on there and stretch it around however you want you know and then when you go to YouTube you're gonna grab you know just a video and right here you grab this URL control C copy it come back to Blue Vota double click here and control V and I like to uncheck the show related videos box hit OK and there we go we got our YouTube video and if we go to preview that video is on now on our site alright so another way to upload a YouTube video is to um, use this HTML box up here if you click on that then you go to YouTube and you grab this embed code here control C come here to Blue Voto and put that in this HTML box you can upload videos that way too now the advantage of doing it that way is you can you know if you wanted to make that video autoplay when someone hits your site you would put that here and you would add this little piece of code here now I'm not a big coder but I um, did figure out how to make this video autoplay now right here where it says and fs equals one right after the s you want to put ampersand autoplay equals one and you're gonna do that in two spots I'm gonna come back cruise through the piece of code here and find it again towards the beginning and right here okay control V put that there hit OK now you're gonna have to position this around you're gonna have to play with it a little bit <clears throat> excuse me and when you go preview this video should start playing automatically there we go and you'll have to you know change the sizes in here and stuff um, you know ch change the different sizes and you can do that with that you know at YouTube you can come down here and you know select what size you want here that way but that's if you know the only advantage of doing it that way is if you wanna actually uh, have it autoplay but for this example we're just gonna use the regular YouTube icon here alright there's other ways to upload videos you know if you have a video stored on your computer or something you can click on this media button and it will upload a video that way alright so um, that's pretty much it for this video in the next video I'm gonna walk you through uh, how to build all these different pages and uh, the video after that will be uh, how to get your site published and up and live so I'll see you in the next video